Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Okay, shut up. No. I did. No, I did. Because this is for a really popular nice costume. Baga, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no failure. <laughs> I didn't have enough speed. Did it. I did it, Dad. Right, okay, are we rolling? Yeah. Oh, it, awesome. It was rolling. <laughs> so, uh... As you may have guessed, the show is a, and uh, as you may have guessed, the show is in fact a Dr. Who spinoff series. Um, I, as some of you, I, I'm Ezra. A lot of people call me. I, I go on the show. Hi, uh, yeah, Ezra. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and just let's go down the line. I'm Garmin. I'm one of his companions on the show. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. And and it's a job. <laughs> I'm Tim. I'm also one of Ezra's companions. I'm uh, just not get something, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm British family in the show, so I'm probably going to have a British accent going there. And uh, so anyway, what the show is uh, mainly about is like this, this general idea, you may have seen on the screen earlier, it's his reality but our fiction. And the general idea is pretty much the Doctor ends up in a world where, and he ends up in this world because, you know, we know him as fiction. He ends up here and he's just regenerated. He's on his last life. He's on the last leg. And now he's he's stuck here, pretty much. And but he only exists in fiction. So if he told anybody who he was, no one would believe him. And the show pretty much covers yeah. how he li he's living that life. But the issue is there's because you know if you don't have a conflict in a story, you know it's going to be pretty boring. Uh, but the conflict is because he made it through, other stuff is breaching through as well. And uh, we're going to see the return of some old enemies and some new ones. Hopefully we're going to be doing a couple crossovers here and there. So some of your favorite that's fan things. That's going to be, no, no, I don't think so. I, I, we're, we're planning on doing, uh, we've already started writing this episode. It's almost done. We're doing a Star Wars crossover. Uh, so Doctor Who meets Star Wars. And we're also going to, I believe, we have a uh, Doctor Who Sherlock crossover yes. in the making. I, I believe that's, and that one is, that one is being written by our head, uh, one of our head writers. She's unable to be with us today. She left for vacation yesterday. Um, she wants to say the hello to everyone at Con, and that is Emily Palumbo, or our, uh, as we call her on the show, Caroline Watson. They as well, but oh, uh, a lot of stuffs, but stuff. Stuff, stuff happens. No, it's not stuff. Stuffs. 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 Technical difficulties. Um, so there was the sire thing. I guess that's another thing. That's a question in there. Um, that was that there's, that was there's some huge spoilers there with that bit there at the end because uh, I will say we are bringing back the Thals, which were a group of aliens. The Thals and the Collins in the classic Doctor Who series, they made the Daleks. And all of a sudden the Thals disappeared with no explanation. And now people think that the Daleks wiped out the Thals. But what we're going to do is we're going to answer that question of what happened to the Thals and how that affected them. And uh, so anyway, the Thals are show up, and they're being, um, yeah, they're they're yeah they're they're in a, they're, in a, they're in a tight situation, and the, the person that's overlooking their situation, they uh, when I typed the script for that that dialogue that was there, um, I wrote uh, I wrote I meant to write Sir, but somehow it became Sire. Doesn't like Sire like refer to Sire royalty? refers to like royalty or yeah. like, you know somebody in a, a higher and class above Emily you. Said, and, and, so, and so we were reading it, and somebody said, and as, uh, our, as one of our set crew members, it's Sire. That's just like someone's father or something. We're just, and we're laughing for like about five minutes about how that was Sire instead of Sir. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, still to this day, we're wondering how that happened. Because the e key and the R key are, no, no, there's no autocorrect in that program oh. that I used to write the scripts. 
there's no, and the E key and the R key are pretty far apart. Like the Q, U, W, E. Oh, no, no, I can see yeah, how that they're right next to each other. I can see how that could happen. So they're right next to each other. Yeah. Um, Do you need else? to look at a keyboard? I no, 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 I, I got it. I got it. I just had to use frame of, frame of reference. If anybody had Gervais, you'll understand that. You're in what grade? It's not printed on their fingers? No, Q W E R T Y. Exactly. Like if you're typing, that doesn't mean you're counting. It's like Q W E R T Y. Look at the keyboard. I know. Q W E R T Y. Do. That or. Alright. So, uh, let's see what else. Um, let's go. We, should, we should move on to the, the TARDIS stuff. Then. Oh, yeah. Hardest stuff. Um, uh, that was fun. That was. It took us about six days to build that. It took us like exactly. It took us exactly six days to build the TARDIS, and one of the jokes we had on set when we were building them, uh, and we still have this joke now. And so there were two jokes. Really, and the main one was, "This is why we can't have nice things." <laughs> and so if Sarah messed something up, we said, "Sarah, this is why we can't have nice things." Always heard though. Uh, if heard Debbie measured something wrong. This, this is why we can't have nice things. So uh, we were on our way back to the build site one day, and my mom was saying, you know, there's one more thing I hate more than the holidays. I didn't know what she was going to say. So I said, make it. <laughs> and now at the time, I, it was just right after I had seen this post on Twitter. And if you went to West Genesee High School this year, you'll know that there was a power out in the, couple, in the last few weeks before yeah, the finals. Like, yeah, I wanted uh, that like the day to end. Day. And it was on a Wednesday. It was a oh, Wednesday. Could have there was and uh, I, the, the power out happened, and there was a buzz all over Twitter about different reasons for the power out. One of them was uh, Nosferatu and the SpongeBob with the light switch. And another one was this really funny picture. And it, I think it was from Drake, Drake and Josh. Josh. It was yeah, from Josh. Josh. It was Dra Drake and Josh. And it was Josh saying, Meg. <laughs> and so, from that point on, on set, because I said in the car, Meg. And just even in the time we were driving there, we just start cracking up at that. So ever since then on set, if something went wrong, we said, if there's one thing I hate more than this, Megan. And we'd say, we'd say, it's Megan, it's Megan's fault. And so anyway, yada, yada, yada. I think I'm babbling on this space. Chair. Space. Space. Final frontier. Our TARDIS can't go in space. <laughs>